The University of California and the Cal State University systems say they plan to require COVID vaccinations for all students, all faculty, and all staff come fall. Several other colleges and universities across the country have said they're planning to require vaccinations as well. But the announcement is the largest of its kind in higher education. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas is at Cal State Monterey Bay with more on how and when it could go into effect. Christopher? Dan, this could go into effect as early as the fall semester. What they're waiting on right now is full FDA approval of one or multiple COVID-19 vaccines. Right now, they're being used under the emergency use authorization under the FDA. But once they get that full approval, all students, faculty, and even guests will need to be inoculated. If you want to step on a UC or CSU campus, you'll soon be required to show proof you've been vaccinated against COVID-19. The best message I can give right now is to get vaccinated. The rule change impacts the more than 1 million students and staff across the 33 major campuses. Both CSUMB and UC Santa Cruz anticipate having primarily in-person instruction in the fall. I think that there's going to be too much potential room for contraction of the virus to not require um, the vaccine. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy about the decision. Chase Paparotti is a second year student at CSUMB. He's now waiting on his second shot, just like Central Coast student Brooke Hill, who told us now that she knows the vaccine will be mandated, she feels safer going to Chico State in the fall. I feel really lucky to be able to go back and ex at least experience some sort of normal college life. Hill says while she's ditching pandemic style learning, she'll hold on to the lessons she learned. I think people's mindsets are a lot different now, especially with like how clean they are about certain things and like who they see, how many people they're seeing. I feel like it's a lot different mindset for a lot of people. In a statement to the Associated Press, the UC system said any student who doesn't get vaccinated will be, quote, barred from in-person access, leaving some to question if it's illegal for the public institution to make that restriction. There are very good legal grounds in terms of requiring vaccines generally. Dorit Reese is a health law expert at UC Hastings College of Law in San Francisco. She said there could be legal uncertainty if the campuses move to mandate the vaccine during its current emergency use authorization. But that's not what they're doing. The University of California has said in its policy that it's only going to mandate the vaccines when they are approved. So they're avoiding that uncertainty. And the requirement does allow students or staff to seek exemptions on the basis of religious or medical grounds. Reporting from CSUMB, I'm Christopher Salas, KSPW Action News 8.